What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Danny, and I am finally, finally back with another unboxing video. Yes, yes, I know, I know it has been a minute since I put out a video. Um, lots of things going on. You know, uh, I'll probably do a live stream uh, within the coming week to kind of tell you guys what I've been up to and where I've been and to talk about my uh, first San Diego Comic Con. So a lot of stuff going on, but, but we do have an unboxing video to do today. I did send some books off to the Alex Ross signing. Uh, I have had them, I want to say about two weeks now. Uh, because I was contemplating would I have time to do this video uh, and here we are I didn't unbox them I saved them to open them up with you guys and so we are going to get to it um, just a couple of books so this won't be a, a long video but here we are right here and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this started so I did have a you know, a couple of other books that I sent off to another signing. And I'll show you guys those because I did already open those because um, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do an unboxing or if I would have time. And I really wanted to see how those books turned out. They turned out fabulous. And I'll share those with you guys. So let's do these Alex Ross beauties first. And it's been a minute since I've done this. So I gotta try and remember how I used to unbox these and get my groove back. Get my groove back, y'all. I'm excited to do this though. I've missed doing this with you guys. And uh, let's see, I don't wanna see the book. So let's see, is this the back of the front? Let me see if I can see. I think this is the front. So let's flip it over to the back. All right. And I'm going to remove them out of the plastic cover. All right. We got one. Oh, these feel kind of heavy. I don't know. Maybe it's a... Uh, let's see. All right. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um... First book is, let me see, I used to cover the grade like this. There we go. It is Wolverine number one. This is from the current run. And we got a 9.8. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I love this Alex Ross cover. I asked him to sign it in yellow, and he did. There's his sig right there. And, um, I did clean and press these myself, as you guys know, I do that. And I got the Alex Ross custom label. I'm gonna show you the back of this too. It's kind of it's kind of cool on the back. There it is on the back. And uh yeah, this book gave me a little bit of trouble <laughs> when I was trying. It's it's a thicker book. That's why the slab feel feels heavy, because it's a thicker slab because this is a thick first issue. Um, but I'm so glad my pressing held up and, uh, another Wolverine book in the collection that's signed. And I kind of have a thing where I collect solo Wolverine covers where it's just him and no one else on the cover. I thought about making a video, uh, of my top 10 solo Wolverine covers. And that means absolutely no one on the cover, but him. Uh, so that still might be something in the works that I'll do. But I am super happy with this and super happy with that custom label. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And then the second book we have is Immortal Hulk number one. And we got a 9.8. All right, let's get it, y'all. So Alex Ross has made some wonderful, wonderful covers. I mean, countless wonderful covers. But I got to tell y'all, this is one of my favorites. One of my favorites is this cover right here. And I'm trying to get it so that it shows up a little nicer. I did ask him to sign it uh, in purple. And he did. 
So thank you for um, granting my request for the colorful signature. I'm trying to get it so that that glare is out. It's kind of tough, but hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. And I just love this cover. Now, I was late to the, um, the Immortal Hulk title. So when I bought this, I did buy it raw. Here it is right here. I purchased this book, as you can see, in an 8.5. This was three years ago. I bought it in June of 2020. And um, I just, you know, started reading the series digitally. I did try to catch up and, and get all of the uh, Immortal Hulk uh, issues, which I did actually. I have since sold that uh, run uh, long ago, probably like at least a year ago. But I did keep this one because this one was uh, my favorite cover uh, from that run. So um, yeah, guys, I'm super happy with this. And you know, I'm super happy that I can buy a book raw, you know, 8.5, you know, 9.0 or whatever, and still have a chance to turn it into a 9.8. So I'm very proud of that. And, uh, you know, when you learn how to press and clean your own books, uh, it gives you a little bit more confidence if you want to send it into a signing or get it graded um, that you have improved the condition of that book. At least you can see for yourself, you know, the changes from, you know, when it was, um, purchase to after you've given it a nice uh, clean and press showing your collection some love you know that's that's my motto guys show your collection some love and that's exactly what I like to do with my books and that was one of the main reasons I bought the press um, was to just make sure that my collection you know uh, is is nice and I, I like to uh, make the books look a little bit better and present a little bit better so that's what we're doing um so again custom label on this one love it love it love it i think these are only exclusive to the alex ross signing so there we have that yes loving it i'm so happy i requested those color signatures i didn't think he would do it but um yeah those turned out great for the bonus books I also sent in books to the John Boy Myers signing, and I did share these on my um, Instagram already, but if you do not follow me on Instagram, I want to go ahead and share these books with you now. Um, so this one is the Ultimate Fallout 4 Facsimile Edition. This was the exclusive John Boy Myers cover that he did, and we got a 9.8 with the Miles custom label on there. So uh, this one did give me a little bit of trouble as well. I had to really work on here. And I know it sounds weird because these are modern books, but not all modern books are in 9.8 near mint condition. Uh, some of them do come with issues, especially lately. You know, the distributors, um, you know, they don't really care. They just put the books in the box and, you know, you get what you get. So you don't always uh, have the hope of getting, you know, a near mint book, but we were able to turn it into a near mint. And uh, I just put my own window bag on this and he chose the colors uh, to sign this. So he signed this one in this awesome blue, which I absolutely love. This cover is fire. Um, and his signature just, you know, took it over the top. Absolutely love it. And then the other book I sent to John Boy Myers is the Miles Morales uh, issue number two. This is the John Boy Myers one and 50 ratio variant. And uh, as you can see, I got a 9.8 on this one. I did actually purchase this one. It was graded raw at a 9.2. So I hooked it up. I hooked it up. And uh, yeah, the pressing held up. And then he signed this one in this cool green color. Again, he chose the colors. 
uh, but I think it pops nicely on here because it does have a lot of um, colors in the in the cover already you know there's a lot going on in action here so him choosing the color that pops uh, I, I really actually appreciate that and I, I love it I think this turned out great uh, you guys have seen the miles custom label before but here it is just to give you a good look at it and a look at the back of it so yeah I have those uh, signature series books that came back. Um, as you guys know, I recently went to San Diego Comic Con for the first time. I dropped off books at a show for CGC. So I was running around the con getting books signed, and then I handed them right over to CGC, which, you know, that's the first time for me doing something like that. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more when I go live. Uh, it was quite an experience, but um, I am a little nervous. I'm not going to lie about how those books will come back. I did not choose the CCS pressing. Um, as you can see, I've had pretty good uh, results with my own pressing uh, without using uh, the CGC pressing with the Signature Series. So we'll see how it goes though dropping them off at a show i don't know how they handle them so this is all the first time as far as that goes and hopefully hopefully they all come back okay uh i'm not gonna get my hopes up that you know they will all be nine eights um because i just don't know what they do with them at the show and how they pack them and you know get them back to cgc headquarters and things like that so we will see but when those books come back to me, I will absolutely do an unboxing to share the results with you guys. Uh, and in the meantime, before that, I will be going live to share my <laughs> San Diego Comic-Con adventures because that it was quite an adventure on um, the few days that I went. So that is my unboxing. I just want to get a quick one in with you guys. It's, it's been a while. And uh, I appreciate you checking out the video. Um, hope to see you on the live. And uh, I'll get it scheduled so that at least you'll know when it's going to be live. I don't know which day I'm going to pick yet. Uh, and then hopefully we can chit chat, chop it up on the live. And until then, y'all know what to do. Show your collection some love and take care.